Well, finally for us here on the town hall, we are on your side tonight, continu continuing our years long reporting on access to broadband across Western New York. We've highlighted the disparities in not only quality, but also equity. A lot of the focus has been on rural parts of our region where access is sometimes severely limited, but there are also issues in our urban centers like in East Buffalo, where affordability and even speed have caused concerns. But now some new competition is coming to the east side and joining me live right now is two on your sides. Nate Benson who has been covering this for as long as I can remember. <laughs> uh, let's start with just kind of a quick yeah. recap of sort of how we got here and the lack of competition in so many cases. Yeah, I first started reporting about this in 2019 uh, in October and it really was highlighting how there's really a monopoly system uh, in the city of Buffalo. There's no competition. The only way to have competition was to install broadband across the entire city. Obviously, that's a huge expense for a lot of companies. So it was our report reporting that had the Common Council change some of the laws that would allow some of these companies like Greenlight Networks to come in and kind of piecemeal things neighborhood by neighborhood. And since then, we've seen the West Side, Elmwood Village, parts of North and South Buffalo get high speed Internet in competition. Now we're seeing the East Side of Buffalo get that competition as well. Yeah, when we talk about green light, uh, as you mentioned, the expansion has been happening for a while. A lot of us kind of following the online maps to see maybe when it's coming to our area. Um, how important and, and significant will that be, especially in, uh, in East Buffalo? Very important for the east side. Some neighborhoods in the east side, the Fruit Belt in particular, are eight times slower than the median speed in oh, the wow. rest of Buffalo. So this is going to provide a lot of uh, enhanced Internet access for the east side. And then Whenever you talk about sort of big picture for this, people wonder like, you know, how, how much faster is it going to be? How much is it going to cost? All, all of those kind of things. Um, wh what is the plan now moving forward with this? Yeah, a, a basic right now, there's about a thousand households in uh, the east side of Buffalo that have uh, green light service. There's going to be 2000 by the end of the year. I was speaking earlier with the CEO, Mark Murphy. He says for 50 bucks, you can get their high speed uh, Internet service. But there are some challenges, as we'll hear from him uh, right now. If we look at this neighborhood in particular, it's a good example of, of some of the construction challenges we run into in Buffalo. Um, yards have fences, they've got gates, they've got trees that may be running into the utility lines. All those things need to be cleared and taken care of before we can actually get access. And then once we do, it's, it's tough getting a ladder in and out of some of these yards. And it just takes time and persistence, and I'm really proud of our team that we now have nearly another thousand homes that have access and a choice for broadband service. Now, this is part of a $2 million investment by the company, part of a overall $20 million investment into the city of Buffalo. So competition is finally here in the city of Buffalo. Yeah, it, it's a big deal um, for a lot of people who are watching. So something we will continue to follow. Nate Benson uh, continuing the years long reporting <laughs> on this, Nate. It's the story that keeps giving. Thank it is. You. It really is. All right. Thank you, everybody.